We're looking at about 77 degrees. It's going to be that overnight low temperature for you. Partly cloudy skies. It's another humid night for us, uh, but we are looking at uh, not a, a bad start to the morning. Uh, tomorrow, maybe you're heading back to work after the uh, long weekend. Looking about 78 degrees uh, through the morning hours. Now, it is going to be rather hot tomorrow. We are looking at about 93. Then those feels like temperatures. Yeah, 100 to 105. Also going to be seeing the chance for sea breeze showers again in the afternoon hours. But maybe you want to head off to the island. Maybe you want to extend that Labor Day holiday just a little bit more. Looking about 87 degrees uh, there on South Padre Island. Low risk of rip currents. Plus a wave height about 2 to 4 feet. So what are we looking at in terms of future casts? Well, again, tomorrow is going to be a little bit better. I think we're going to be seeing a less of a threat for some showers, though. Not going to rule out them out completely. Also, you can expect a little bit more sunshine as you get in towards the afternoon hours. Now, that's not going to be the case, though, on Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to be seeing a higher chance for some shower development into the afternoon hours. There it is, uh, right around 3 o'clock. So do expect that it'll become a little bit more widespread Wednesday, Thursday, as well as on Friday this week. So, again, what are we looking at in terms of rainfall? Well, about 20% chance tomorrow. Again, just more general sea breeze stuff. So you get in towards the uh, end of the week here, increased chance of rain, a 50% chance there on Thursday and Friday. Drops down to about 30% chance on Saturday, though increases again early next week. So we are expecting, well, a couple of wet days in store for us. So also, we've been talking for a couple of days, all right, we're going to get a cold front, we're going to get a cold front. Well, it doesn't look like... Unfortunately, that's going to be the case. There is the, is the cold air. And look at these temperatures all the way up in towards uh, the 20s in some spots of Wyoming. But unfortunately, doesn't look like it's going to reach far enough south to bring us really that cold air that we were looking at maybe just 24 hours ago. when we were thinking, oh, maybe we hit 75 degrees for a high here in Harlingen. But yeah, not going to be the case. We're still going to be rather on the warm side. Why is that? Well, the models have backed off, keeping the, the colder air just to our northwest. So it looks like we miss out on this one. But don't worry, it's still summer. And uh, we are going to see still several more chances for some cooler air. But we cool off a little bit there, 89 degrees, both Thursday and Friday. So in terms of the tropics, though, they are getting busy as well. As we do approach peak season, we got Paulette out there as a tropical storm. We expect it just to stay as a tropical storm over the next couple days but we do have also Renee and then Renee is expected to strengthen into a hurricane as uh, we get in towards about midweek as cat one hurricane there through uh, the early portions of the weekend and we also have two other systems out there both of them are, are expected to develop here so we are keeping an eye on that 60% chance on the one off Africa and then a 40% chance though I'm not as, as high and humble on this one I don't think we're gonna see as much development as the National Hurricane Center puts out there but the next name whatever it might be, is going to be Sally. That's that next name storm. So we'll just keep an eye on the tropics for you. But the next seven days, the you know, biggest thing is going to be the increased rain chance for the weekend.